Welcome back to eLearn Tutorials. Have you ever come across where an image that you like or you need that has text on it and you need to remove it? Yes, you can remove this with the retouching tools, but there is an easier method. My name is Michael Chow. Today we're going to remove text from an image in Photoshop. The text that we will be removing will be right down here in the left hand corner. We want to select our text, so we're going to be using the magic wand tool. So go to your tools, the magic wand or W on your keyboard, and go ahead and select the white part of your type. You can hold down the shift key to select it all. And because it's going to take me a while here, we can actually do something different. We can go to select and then similar. Now what this does though, unfortunately, that if I zoom out a little bit here, it would also select any white portions that are very similar to it. So in the image here itself, it's also being selected. So what we can do here is we can take the lasso tool, and if you hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard, you can actually subtract it from the selection, so it won't be affected at all. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this image a bit more with the type as well as the selections that should not be selected. So if you notice in my image here with my type, I don't have all of the I don't have all of the white selected. It's not a big deal because we can actually let Photoshop do a little bit of its own work. So we can go to Select, Modify, and Expand. And we can say Expand by 5 pixels. I'm going to just change that maybe down to maybe 3 pixels and say OK. And that's pretty good. Um, you don't want to go too crazy because, again, what's going to do is that Photoshop is going to be sampling part of the image to replace where the text is. So a 3 pixel works quite well for text. So one of the cool things about Photoshop is the Content Aware Fill tool. It's under Edit, Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill was designed to make removing unwanted objects or distracting elements from your photos as easy as possible. So what we did, we simply drew a selection around an area, in this case, the text, then Photoshop will instantly replace it with a new image detail from the surrounding areas. In the green part, on the, or sorry, on the left-hand side is a preview of the fill, Green overlay represents the area that Photoshop samples from. On the right hand side is the image that we are working with. If you notice here on the left hand side that is where our text is and this is a pretty good job of what it did. Now we can go ahead and clean it up a little bit more if you want to. So we can grab the lasso tool on the left hand side and if you hold down, it's currently a plus, if you hold down option key we can minus our selection. With the lasso tool selected I'm going to hold down the option key I can minus my selection. I'm not too sure where this is actually, to be honest. So I'm just going to just gauge it here. I'm just going to do a selection here. And as soon as I did that, it's actually putting back the text back in. So again, that's not it. So I'm going to go Command Z to put it back. And I could try to figure out where it is go, going throughout it. But I know I'm going to do something easier. I'm just going to go back to my expanding as was by pixels. So what I'm going to do here is currently by one pixel. Maybe I'm going to change to maybe three pixel. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to expand this selection here. And wow, it does actually knock it right out. I just have a little bit more here. So I'm going to just knock it down to buy one more pixel and click on expand. Does it do it? Oh, uh, just about. Let's do it one more time. And there we go. So if I zoom in a bit here, where my text should be, it's around here. You can't really tell, really. But other than that, it's pretty good. Okay, now what we want to do is that uh, this indicates the sampling area, excluded area. Um, you have the color adaption, which is basically your contrasting, and you can also rotate your, your adaption. In this case here, I'm okay with it for now, and I'm going to output it to a new layer. You can do it to the current layer or duplicate layer, but I wanted a, a new layer just to show me where it is. So I click on OK. As you notice, we have a new layer. I could turn off, it shows you where the words were, turn on, and where it disappears. Let's just zoom a bit here, a little bit more. So there again. And if the selection edges are bothering you, you can just turn that off. So you can go to view, show, and then turn off selection edges. Okay, so before and after. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.